So now, let us take a look at example 1. Find the range of values of k for which the equation 3x squared minus 4x plus 5 minus k is equal to 0 has two real and distinct roots. So, let us examine this quadratic equation. Well, it's 3x squared minus 4x plus 5 minus k equals to 0, isn't it? So this is the coefficient of x squared. This is 4, negative 4, which is the coefficient of x. And this 5 minus k, where k is a constant, this has to be the constant term. Now since we know that there are two real and distinct roots, what does it tell us? Well, what it tells us is that our b squared minus 4ac will be greater than 0. Isn't it? So, therefore, when we put in the coefficient, b, which is the coefficient of x, is negative 4 squared minus away 4, a, which is the coefficient of x squared, and of course c, or constant. Okay? Will be greater than 0, isn't it? So, when we work this out, this will give us 16 minus away 6t plus 12k is greater than 0. So, when you shift things a little bit, you have 12k is greater than positive 44, and therefore, k will be greater than 11 over 3. So, this will be the range of values of k for which the equation we have two real and distinct roots. Now, what does it really mean? What it means is that, well, as long as your k is greater than 11 over 3, well, 11 over 3 is actually 3 and 2 thirds. Okay? They're the same. So, now, what it means is that if your k is greater than 3 and 2 thirds, so for example, if k is equal to 4, alright? Now, if k is equal to 4, is greater than 3 and 2 thirds, the b squared minus 4ac will be greater than 0. Okay? Now you can substitute that in. Okay? For k is equal to 4. Alright? You will get your b squared minus 4ac greater than 0. Well, you can take a pause to this clip and put in k equals to 4 and work out a b squared minus 4ac. You will get a number that is greater than 0. Now, on the other hand, if your k were to be, say, 3, 3 will be definitely less than 3 and 2 third, isn't it? So if your k is 3, again, like I said, you can take a pause and substitute in k equals to 3 here and try working out your b squared minus 4ac. Well, you won't get your b squared minus 4ac greater than 0 when your k is 3. So for your b squared minus 4ac to be greater than 0, your k has to be greater than 3 and 2 third. Okay, which means that, well, it has to be 4 or 5 or 4 and a half and so on. Alright, so this is what it means. So it is rather important that when you get the answer, you understand what the answer is trying to tell you, what the answer is all about.